Well, 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 here I am making a video about the HIT MMORPG- Stop! But man, oh man, do I know very little about Final Fantasy XIV, as in like, I did not know what the fuck retainers were until I asked two years after I started playing the game. But that's besides the point. I like Final Fantasy XIV, and I like it when my character do the things, because it is the thing that is awesome. What is that thing? What do it do? Patience, my young breaker of guns. Let's talk about Final Fantasy XIV classes, starting with my favorite, because it's the only one I've played so far to level 90. This is the reason why gun breakers are awesome. I like guns. I also like swords. Not only if there was a way to put them together. Yes, the gun breaker. Sounds counterintuitive, but with that fat ass, Garlemo will be looking at my fat pools. Let's heckin' go! Offensive abilities include hitting people, hitting people and healing for it, and then hitting them again because they are dumb and stupid. And how many times we gotta teach this lesson to you, old man Solace? The bread and butter combo of a gun breaker is taking hits and being rewarded for dishing them out, meaning that you take more hits and deal with less shit. Like Michael Reeves on Graham Stephan. Isn't that nice? Okay, you're surrounded. What do you do? Hit people one by one and pull? Nah, baby! You spin to win! Demon slice your way to victory, because AoE damage exists, and let me tell you, if you're surrounded by a bunch of scrap paper, of course you're gonna let it rip! And if you do a combo, you get a cartridge. More on that later. Know what I also like? Devil May Cry. Wanna know what my favorite Dante stance is? What? No! It's just so fucking anime, and I love it. It's basically Jotaro walking over saying that he can't hit you from all the way over here while also being Dio getting as close as I like. I should note that this is your enmity skill, but come on, this is just a precursor for putting Zenos' face beneath your shapely, pointy, stabby anime armor boot. Let's not forget the you got pretty little mouth abilities. You got you're going nowhere, where if the anime wants you to back off, but you got the grip, the strength of Zeus, you can say no. Or optionally, if they do run away, they won't get very far, like an ERP here and the sharp side of my said shapely bladed boot. Ooh, woo, notices your chat going off. Let's give the stabsies. Tanks may be kicking ass, but you gotta take an ass kicking as well. Being the sole target of gods and mobs, you gotta flex your defenses as much as you flex your tiny little Lollafell allies to make them feel like the royalty they are. Pet, pet, pet. You got buffs, mitigations for mitigations. Remember being rewarded for hitting the bad guys? Well, now you can reward your friends for being the hype squad, meaning they get the heals too. And say that magic is an issue? No, it's not hard of light. Mitigation means healers get to focus on more important things, like doing damage and planning to revive the DPS for the fourth goddamn time. Okay, look at me. You looking? I'm gonna tell you the secret to your expanded badass ray gun breakers. You comboed, you spin to win, you mitigated, you got your cartridges. Your time is now. The class's real ability is explode. Explosions! And they come in a number of forms! You got Explosion 1.0, it's quick, it's beautiful. Then you got Explosions with Combo Explosions and AOE Explosions! Even a skill that lets you keep exploding! Megamine would be proud! And you get the off fuck no ability where you just say no to dying at the risk of dropping and not being able to take the hit. But let's be honest, you plan on robbing an early victory from the enemy anyways, because as soon as you heal yourself during this time, you become the unstoppable anime god you were always meant to be. While it is fun to note that you have skills upon skills, it's also fun to note that you get tanking fashion options as well. Like, come on, look at this outfit. Damn boy, you shit from that ass. It's just fun to look anime as hell, and for all the tanking options, you can even put together outfits for your favorite anime and video game characters. And just some of the best of the best just flex like the Manderville man can. The grind is more than just numbers, it is all the desire to look like Arthur Pendragon for fake prototype! Or fake go if you're a fucking degen. Last, and definitely least, the limit break, which you'll never be able to get to use, unfortunately, because the heal is in DPS have the right away. But. Just remember, DPS, who's a carrying through this Heidelin damn raid? Who's a pulling entity off of your Russian dumbass, DPS? It's been me! That said, let's wrap this up before Blue gets angry that I have to have her draw more poses. Now go out there, be awesome, and break your gun blade on some Garlean skulls.